had you touch your back and left me in the dirt Running with some steppers, make a move, they put you in a hearse Oh, they put you in a hearse I got so much pain, no one to call cause I can't trust them What's up, gang, man? We back up in this thing. We back with another vlog, man. Y'all can see, man, I just woke up this morning, bro. Me and Jazz about to head to the gym, get this good-ass workout in, bro. We've been going to the gym for like two weeks straight, bro. So I'm really proud of us, man. We've been getting that work in, and we've been grinding, bro. We've been grinding on here. We've been grinding and getting our body right, bro. So I'm I'm, I'm glad, bro, because all we're going to do in life is get older. You feel me? You can't keep walking around like a flabby body, all type of stuff. So I'm really taking this serious these next uh, couple years of my life, bro. I really want my body to change. I really want to be cut up. You know, I don't want to be one of them, them big-ass niggas walking around all swole. You know, I just want to be uh cut up and everything. You know, and I just want to look better. You feel me? Just woke up, bro. Brush my teeth. Wash my face. And yeah, bro, I'm waiting on Jazz right now. She about to, everybody's up in the house. You feel me? I think it's like, it's 1030 right now, but I woke up early, bro. You feel me? I woke up pretty early because uh, I went to sleep early, man. I've just been needed to catch up on some sleep, bro, because your boy been moving around so much, so much, so much. But honestly, bro, this is how you know I slept good because I woke up this morning feeling good, bro. You feel me? I woke up feeling good. Yeah, bro, we about to go to the gym, about to get this workout in. I don't know what today uh, consists of, y'all. We going with the flow, y'all. So stay tuned with this vlog. I, let me, I really need to call. Well, flow was up because he was texting in the group message at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, Loli was up at like 6 o'clock in the morning. One thing about flow is if flow is up early in the morning, he going to go back to sleep. You feel me? Flow is never up at like 8 o'clock in the morning and just going to stay up. You feel me? So usually Flo comes with us to the gym and get this workout in, but today he's I guess he's not. But I, uh but me and Jazz about to go get this sweat in, man. Hey, more ink coming soon, man. I'm about to get some more ink. I gotta find me a specific tattoo, man, that I can find that will tattoo me, bro. And uh like when it comes about tattoos and shit, bro, I don't play. Because when I first got these, bro, I had to get them all redone and shit. Like I probably still gotta get some stuff redone, but I got a very low pain tolerance, bro. So Whenever I get the tattoo, man, I be feeling all of that shit. You feel me? I don't give a fuck if it's on this part of the arm or like my inside of the arm, bro. I be feeling it all. So like, I don't want to get a tattoo and have to get it retouched, redone, bro. I want somebody that's A1 to that do my stuff right, bro, and do my stuff good. You feel me? So I'm in the process of finding a good tattoo artist, man. If y'all know any good tattoo artists in Houston, Texas, man, let me know, bro, because it's time to get inky, bro. I need to go get my chest and my arm. I might get my neck. I don't know if I'm going to get my neck, y'all. You feel me? I don't know if I'm going to get my neck. But if I do. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Should I give up my neck tat or should I keep it like on some just my chest piece and my other arm? You feel me? But yeah, man, I'm about to go get Jazz, bro, because I don't know what Jazz is doing because I'm ready to go work out. She been wait I've been waiting on her to come out this whole time, y'all. Like you see, we about to go get this yeah, workout in, man. Workout, yeah, bro, I've been waiting. I've been waiting on you in the car for about four yeah, minutes, bro. I'm not gonna say he's warming up the car. Bro, it don't take that long to warm up a car. You know that. I think you running from that workout twin. No, I ain't running from shit, brother. Like y'all know, man. I've been waiting in the car this whole time. I just been talking to them. I just been going on the rant twin because I've been waiting on you. Uh, I guess now he's sleep. I just told them every time he wake up eight o'clock in the morning, he go back to sleep. Don't be wake, waking up at eight o'clock in the morning. I just got her in the car, man. We about to head to the gym and get this good ass workout in. We just touched down at Walmart, man. We just getting some of the items that we need, man. I need to give me another toothbrush, some more toothpaste. I ran out of toothpaste. But man, as y'all can see, man, I had a good ass workout at the gym. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. The first week, week and a half at the gym, it be hard getting up and, and getting to that routine. But like after the week or the first two weeks, man, and you get a hold of it, bro, it's like you don't wanna miss a day. I don't know, I'm just in that mode, y'all, where I feel like I know I can't just miss a day, you feel me? And we going hard at the gym every day. But once y'all go to the gym for two weeks straight in a row, you're just going to be feeling motivated. You're going to be like, man, I cannot miss a day. I can't miss a day. That's the type of mode I'm in right now. I love going to the gym. But at the same time, at first, it took me a lot to go to the gym. Because at first, I was contemplating. I was hesitating. And I was like, man, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to get up every early morning and work out and this and that. But, you know, after I got off that slump, after I got out of that slump, man, and we working out every day now, I feel better. Each and every day, I wake up, I go to the gym. Me and Jazz, we hit the sauna, you feel me? But right now, I lost Jazz. I don't know where she at right now, y'all. Me and Jazz have been here getting a couple things before we head back to the crib. Who was at the top? Who was at the top? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. shit. Damn, nigga, you, I'm, I'm glad you came for a little uh, re-up. You, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have a girl at your house, man, that use up all your razors, because y'all both girls. Yeah, so, so you gotta, no you gotta get double, you gotta get double this shit. Yeah, I understand. Well, you know what I'm saying? I had to, but you know what I'm saying? I just ran out of shit, basically. You know, girl, <laughs> you got extra razor here? <laughs> 
Hey, but look though, y'all. Y'all see how we coming, man. Hey, I'm telling y'all, bro. When we coming from the gym, bro, I'll be feeling so much better, y'all. So y'all, I'm telling y'all, after the first two weeks, I'm telling y'all, y'all going to the gym, y'all gonna get over that slump, that little lazy slump. And after the two weeks, bro, you gonna wanna keep going to the gym until you see progress in, in, in yourself. You said what? Oh what yeah, speaking of that, you know, last night. But twin. Uh, uh, the one you gave me, I left it on the counter last night. I woke up this morning, it was gone. You took it back? It? You took it back? Yeah, I think I stole it back and used it. How do how you steal it back and I didn't use it? Well, yeah, uh, gang. Uh, I don't know what really them eyelids, them eye shit do that Jazz bro, is talking about. Green caffeine bright eye. Hydro, hydro gel eye pads to hydrate your fucking eyes, bro. You how, so it hydrate the under, underneath your eyes yes, or bro, your this eyes? Is vegan friendly, dermatologist tested, Pranger's free, in ultra cooling hydro gel eye mask made with green tea, caffeine, multi-molecule, hyaluronic acid. Bro, if you don't get your highly, uh... Complex to keep your <laughs> eye area hydrated, bright, and deep puffed. <laughs> so, what, 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 so what the point did you just fucking prove? Basically, they hydrate your fucking eyes. With your egghead ass. Well, well, dead eyes. Do I got dead eyes? I don't think I got dead eyes. No, you got good looking eyes. I just want to keep them hydrated, right? Hydrated, yeah, I want to keep them hydrated. Mean, okay, but if my eyes not dehydrated, why am I putting shit on it to keep it hydrated? Right? All right, bro. Well, when you see a bump on me, that's like you saying, why? I don't have bumps on my skin. Why am I cleaning my skin? To not to prevent bumps, dumbass. Okay, yeah, you right. Damn, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She right. She got me on that one. But I just never heard of that shit. I never really just seen bro, you that shit. What's your shit that you ain't never heard of? I really just, yeah, you know, true. You're not into the skin cleansing world. <laughs> they have a whole bunch of shit. That, hey, that, you know that clearing, what's that shit you put me clean on? That cl clear? clean and clear, they that shit, shit works. They got pore shit, pore strips for your nose, so you keep your pores, your nose clean. Like, it, it depends on how. Oh, for they got stuff where you can stop getting stopped up? No, like pores. You know how you got pores? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Black the hair white shit. heads and shit. Yeah, they got, oh. and then, you know, all that shit from under. That's what I'm saying, depending on, like, how deep you are to clean your skin. Right, right. Some See? niggas are just throwing a little, like, like you usually just use a little clean and clear, and you yeah. don't keep going. Yeah, I keep See, going. See, some people get deep into it. Some people get deep into it. So you're saying I need to get deep into that, right? See, depending on how you care about your skin, brother. I mean, I care about my skin, but, like, my skin really only break out when, like, I drink bad or eat bad, and then I sweat. So let's just say we go. Well, you sweat a lot to go to the gym. So yeah, I'll be but but my skin a lot bit more. But look, yeah, you're right. But we've been taking a kind of good care because we've been drinking, we've been eating good, and we've been drinking water. Yeah, you, you right. feel me, y'all? But look, though, me and Jazz is really in Walmart. We getting some of the stuff that we need before we go back to the crib because we know when we go back to the crib, I'm not gonna wanna get back out and do all these little errands that we gotta run and stuff right now. So this is what we're doing right now, y'all. So when we get back to the crib, I'm gonna take a shower and we gonna tune back in. The boy that took a shower, feeling fresh, man. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know why. Y'all, get on. I don't, I don't know why y'all got on all black, bro. It's too fucking hot out here, bro. Houston heat and Houston weather, bro. Man, I don't know, bro. We, we gotta figure this out, bro. Cause this shit is crazy, bro. It's too hot outside. Like this shit don't make you want to do. It make you want to do nothing, bro. So they be too hot. Man, I tell you, I don't even be like be out the crib past seven o'clock, bro, during the summer, bro. Like this shit. I mean, before seven o'clock, cause it be too hot. Other than the complaining I'm doing about the about the weather, because even when it get cold, I complain. Cause I don't know, I don't like the cold. I don't like, man, I don't know. But man, we just tuning back in, y'all. Um, you feel me? I'm about to head to the gas station. I'm about to give me something to drink in this hot ass weather. You feel me? Uh, but let me. Hey, I got a, my PO box, y'all. My PO box. The address to my P.O. box is in my description box down below. Man, send me any merch, anything y'all you guys want to send, send me, bro. I'ma get it, bro, and send it to me. But yeah, man, I've been in the gym for like what two weeks straight, man. I'm trying to make it a month straight, and after that, I'm trying to make it two months straight, and then after that, I'm trying to make it three months straight. And at the end of the day, man, I'm just trying to be, I'm really just trying to be consistent, bro. I'm really just trying to be consistent in the gym, cause like I said earlier in the vlog, man, like I don't want to be little my whole life. You feel me? I don't want to, I can't be a little boy my whole life. Like, I'm 24 years old. You feel me? In November, I'm going to be 25. You feel me? So it's time for me to start taking care of my body for real, for real. Stop being so lazy. I'm just being real with myself. I'm being real with y'all. You feel me? I got to stop being lazy. So, you know, I've been going to the gym for about like two weeks straight. And yeah, man, we're going to try to make it a month. You feel me? But I ain't going to lie. After going to the gym, bro, man, I be feeling good. After that sauna, I go home, take a shower. I be feeling good, man. I'm telling y'all, bro. That gym is gonna change it. It's gonna make your energy go up. You're gonna have a lot more energy. You're gonna be just more energetic. You're gonna be wanting to do a lot more. Your mood, your, your vibe, your attitude gonna be good. You feel me? It just it works out for it all. 
But yeah, man, I just got to the gas station. About to give me some to drink, y'all. And I'm just chilling right now. I haven't been vlogging y'all, bro. So I've just been in the midst of vibing out and everything. As y'all can see, bro, we vibing out. This is my first time eating at this place. I think it's called Pearl and Vines. But man, we're just eating right now. We just eating with the fam. You feel me? We had a long day. Like everybody been working and stuff like that. So, you feel me? Everybody treating themselves right now. I know it's not a lot of light in here right now, y'all. But I just want to show y'all what the vibe is like, man. I got me some chicken with some mac and cheese, bro. And I got me some water, bro, because I've been going to the gym lately and I need to be eating a lot of water. You feel me? But y'all see everybody here, the whole family here, bro. Everybody eating good. You see Jazz, Trey, Amar, Flo, Karina, Loaded, Kaya. Man, I'm about to dig in, bro. I'm just giving y'all a little update. You feel me? I know I didn't tune into y'all earlier just because your boy been working, but we're busy. I'm tuning into y'all right now. You feel me? We're about to dig in, about to eat good, y'all. So we're going to tune in. From Amar, this place was ass, okay? Um, Pearl and Vine, I've never been here before, but um, my food was actually good. Jazz, the rotisserie chicken, the rotisserie chicken and shit was good in my opinion. What? Yeah, yo, in a stick. Yeah, this facts. Wasn't my idea. It was in, you wasn't fucking with it, son. Fucking with you, we gonna go to Maestro's and stay for the eight. I say Maestro's. Maestro's. If niggas trying to sit in, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. This is my first time at this place called Pearl and Vine. I'm not fucking with it. You feel me? But we cooling right now, y'all. We about to walk out the store and I'm vlogging as I'm walking right now. I'm off the. I had a lemon drop. Talk your shit, bro. Talk <laughs> We've never coming back here again. We never coming back here again. <laughs> Never yeah, y'all, man. But the chicken here, like I said, the chicken was pretty cool, man. I fuck with the chicken. But I could have had some salt and pepper on my mac and cheese, bro. My shit was really just mac and cheese. No salt on it. Damn! Because you hit me in my eye, bitch. It hurt. I'm getting the aftermath. I should have got me some turkey. Yeah, yeah, smack him again. If you bout that life, smack him again. If you bout that life, then. Smack him again if you bout that life. Bitch, you. Bitch, oop, pop. Oop, bitch, <laughs> Jazz off them lemon drops. Bitch, the fuck zesty you ass. ain't got no lemon drops in your Bro, you system. No nigga, I had a lemon drop, nigga. What the, the fuck? fuck? On my, on my daughter had a lemon you drop. Don't play with me. You not push it on my daughter, nigga. You know I'm for real. Don't play with me, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, man. Hey, what you about to say, nigga? Hey, I said, um, rapping shit. Hey, what you about to say, nigga? Hey, I said, I'm finna fuck your bitch. Bro, you gonna stop fucking playing with me before I beat your ass, nigga? You think I'm, you think I'm a hoe or something? But look though, man, we leaving this spot right now. I'm about to head to the crib. I'm full. That's all that matters. Even though I didn't really enjoy it like that, but I'm full, y'all. So man, we about to head to the crib. Yo, we just got back home from that food place. Where the fuck is called Pearl and Vine? Yeah, paparazzi around this bitch. Man, get your ass. So how'd you think about the food? Did you like the food? No, I didn't like the food. I hated the food. Which one better? That steak forty eight. Bro, I don't know why they keep doing me like this, y'all. Look, uh, if y'all, hey, team Jordan, bro, I'm gonna need y'all to go on their page and, and spam their comments and let them know. Stop coming to me like that, bro. Y'all see how they be treating me, bro? They be yeah, acting like. Don't come over and whoop everybody in. They be acting like they don't want me. Hold on, you gonna be team raised. Jordan gonna come with my troops? Team Jordan gonna come with my troops? Gonna come get the. Go get the whooping y'all ass. Bro, you been eating up all the candy, bro. God damn. Bro, bitch, I ain't been eating all this motherfucker. Don't ever try to play me, bitch. Like, I'm in this bitch eating candy, bitch. <laughs> hey, bro, man, but we tuning in, bro. Everybody just got back home. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. What you eating on, nigga? You see how I run up on the fuck, nigga? He don't do nothing. You see how I run up on the nigga, man? But look, though, man. I already know what it is, man. <laughs> Niggas got them lemon drops and start talking crazy. And this is Trey last night in Houston, bro. He say he gonna come. He say he gonna come back on the fifth, but we gonna see if he a man of his work. And we know how Trey do. He get to Atlanta and get comfortable and don't want to come back. Y'all know me so. That's what it is, man. I'm off a lemon drop. I'm feeling good right now, bro. I'm about to chill with my brother Trey till he leave, man. We gonna tune back in. You all I had, you turned your back and left me in the dirt. Running with some steppers, make them move. They put you in a hearse. Mm, they put you in a hearse. I got so much pain, no one to call, cause I can't trust nobody. I just need your.